Spotlight. Movie that makes you go, oh wow. I didn't know about that. So, the Boston Globe catches wind of a story about a priest molesting a child. And then it gets blown way high. And so the whole movie is just these people uncovering this huge scandal. And it's just fascinating. Now this is a very understated movie. And that is just the way to do it. Because all it is is it's these reporters trying to find facts. Whatever the movie wanted me to understand, I understood. And I really felt like the movie was exactly what it wanted to be. This movie is edited like a Mad Men episode, which totally works in its favor. It goes, here's this scene, here's what you need. Okay, next scene, here you go, here's what you need. Here's this emotional thing here to make you care. And that's what we get throughout the whole thing. It's, do you care? Yes. Are you getting what you need? Yes. Perfect. The way people act. It feels like a real documentary, like this is how it actually really would have happened. There's a scene where Michael Keaton gets a call from some guy, and he gets some bad news. And in most movies, he'd flip out, he'd blow the phone down. In this movie, he just sighs, he goes, oh, that's bad news, or something like that, and he just, next scene. Michael Keaton, by the way, great in this movie, of course, it's Michael Keaton. Mark Ruffalo, really strong, really strong performance. He seemed dedicated, he seemed like all these things that this character would be. Liev Schreiber, as this guy that just wants to expose the Catholic Church for what it is. Mm. He really, like, he just goes, I am, I want to do this. And he just, he seemed so logical, and it was such a great performance. Rachel McAdams, as this hard-working reporter who's just trying to do her job super well. I really like that, and she had a little angle, too. Because her grandmother still goes to church, which, that's rough for her, because she knows all this creepy stuff. Spotlight really does engage you as far as mental capacity goes. You're really just into the movie. Nothing in the movie breaks your immersion, it's all paced very well to maintain your attention, and it just works. I'm going to give Spotlight an A.